My name is Anna, and I have lupus. My name is Charlie. I have lupus. When I first was diagnosed with lupus, it was 2010, and I was a really active person. I had a job, and I was going to school, and I was training for a triathlon. It was just pretty much, looking back on it, the best time of my life. When the doctor came in and said I had lupus, I just started crying, and my husband started crying too. We weren't sure what that really meant, or what really was gonna change in our lives. After we did find out that it was lupus, it was very difficult emotionally for me, but then I had to be strong for her. Lupus just doesn't go away. It's not something you go for a week and then you feel better. It's, you have to change your whole lifestyle because there is no cure. The first thing was, oh, hey, okay, lupus, what? And then once you find out and you go, it does this and that, and it's, it lasts for life. I went and I, I stayed with her because she, she couldn't get up. She couldn't do anything. She couldn't do what she used to do. She couldn't bike, she couldn't walk, she couldn't hike. She was always tired, always in pain. After a while, you realize there is no normal anymore. And so you have to force yourself out of bed. You have to somehow get the pain under control. I was starting to get rashes and really bad aches and pains in my joints. And I didn't know why I was constantly tired. They did a kidney biopsy and it came back that I had lupus. The darkest time in my life was when I had to spend 17 days in the hospital. I thought I would never walk again. I was terrified. Lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease in which the body's own antibodies and T lymphocytes attack itself. And that can be different for each individual. Uh, different organ systems can be involved and almost every part of the body can be affected. So every patient usually has very debilitating fatigue, joint pains, muscle aches, and beyond that it could be kidneys, heart, brain, lungs, skin involvement. Uh, it's really different for each individual. Getting a job, I just wasn't even sure what to get because I couldn't work at the hospital. I couldn't work at certain places. And so I've been actually changing jobs every year trying to find something that will work for me because so far it's, it's just been too hard with lupus. It's all I want to do is be able to work and actually help people, but I can't help myself. We went for bike rides, we went for hikes. There was this just really active relationship and that's how we got along together. Every day I have to figure out how much energy I have. And if I really wanna do something, I have to make sure to rest the day before and make sure to rest the day after. I take medications both in the morning and at night and you just take more pills in order to kind of prevent the symptoms from other pills, so there's tons of pills to take. I've had lupus for 17 years. When I meet somebody, I'll tell them, you know, I'm gay. And it's easier for me to tell people that, because that's me. It's more difficult to tell them I have lupus. There's some people that have known me for years and I haven't told them. I love my work. For a visual trimmer at Macy's, it's going in, checking the floors, see that the mannequins look good, the setups still look good. Then I start my projects, start getting my props together, pulling the fashion. It's constant running around, which I really like, but sometimes I just have to slow down. The fear comes in because sometimes I think that maybe this is it. This one will, will leave me in a condition that I can't go back to work. So we decided three years ago to have a baby and my lupus was technically under control and 
uh, I had to get off some of my medications for my pain that I was in, so it took about a year. I got pregnant right away, which was really great, and a couple weeks later, I had a miscarriage. So we went, I had to stay at the hospital. They took out a piece of my kidney. They found that I have a stage three uh, kidney nephritis, and so they said that I couldn't get pregnant and that I may never be able to have a baby. As soon as I found out, they put me on Celsept, and that's a drug you can't get pregnant on. I actually text uh, Kelly, who's with Molly's Fund, and I asked her her journey, because I know she had been on similar medication, and she was able to have a baby. And with that, I was like, okay, okay, so maybe I can do this. Um, maybe I can. And it pretty much took just my family and my husband and, you know, Molly's one actually really did help with just giving me enough strength to just keep positive. So they rushed me to the operating room and they didn't have time to start an epidural or anything. They had to put me under general anesthesia and they took the baby out. Then they brought him in and I was just like, this is the most beautiful baby I have ever seen. He gives me so much strength. He is just so beautiful and he smiles now. And how can you not smile back? Like he makes me healthy. I've waited three years for this, and this is just the most beautiful thing in the world. You can see that in her, in her face, in her eyes, that she's overjoyed by her baby. It is unbelievably a joy to have that person who understands what you go through in my life. I mean, he, he is just such a really good friend and it's just a joy, I mean, to have Jonathan in my life. To have Molly's Fund in my life, it's incredible. It has just been a, such a great experience because the people that work for Molly's Fund, I mean, all of you are just so important to me to know that you're here and you're here for me. It was a point in my life where I wasn't sure what lupus was, how to deal with lupus, how to live with lupus, and I googled the support groups in town, tried to find something. And the only one that I really found was Molly's Fund, and I was interested in going to see what it was all about. Support for patients living with lupus is so important, especially from organizations like Molly's Fund. Education, providing information, and really living with lupus on a day-to-day -day basis can be really challenging. Molly's Fund has helped Anna essentially to see, to give her examples and provide her insight into being able to be successful at what we want to do, which is you know able to have a baby, able to stay healthy, have a healthy baby, she did mention to me that she was going to support groups and I was very happy that she was doing that because then she would be uh, getting that emotional support and see that she wasn't the only one. I hope that someday there would be a cure if that's even possible, but just something to make me be able to live my life a little more normal, just something to make things easier. Molly's Fund is a one place that you can find support, friendship, and the website is phenomenal. Thank you for being here this evening and supporting Molly's Fund. If you or somebody you know is living with lupus, tell them about Molly's Fund. Tell them they're not alone. Molly's Fund Fighting Lupus has been the one place where I found support, friendship, and a place to just live with lupus. Thank you so much for coming tonight and supporting Molly's Fund.